<laughs> All righty. Good morning and welcome to TCRBCC's Let's Talk Business podcast. And happy new year to you all. It's Friday, January 5th. I hope you started your year off right because we certainly aim to. Um, so although it's not the prettiest day out here in the Houston, greater Houston area, um, it's a good day for a good day. So be careful out on the streets. Make sure you have a good weekend. Okay. So I'd like to thank our president and chairman club members for their support. Without them, we wouldn't be able to share this information and um, honor our members every Friday. So thank you, chairman and support club members. And with each podcast, I'd like to start off by reciting the Tri-County Regional Black Chamber of Commerce's mission statement. TCRBCC is committed to acquiring and disseminating valuable business information resources and tools for member firms to achieve entrepreneurial parity and economic prosperity in the region and international. So if you don't know why we're here and what we do, there's your reminder. Or if you don't know, now you know, okay? So it's our first weekend back yeah. since the Business Choice Awards, our first Friday mm -hmm. of, of the year. Mm -hmm. I had the pleasure of seeing two of you looking <laughs> gorgeous at the uh, Business Choice Awards. Miss Vanessa, you gonna make I, I don't, don't call me out. Don't call me. We're gonna see you at the next one. Um, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have uh, three members here that we're gonna showcase for you today. Uh, but before we get into that, I just, I wanna recap on the um, Business Choice Awards. Each year, Tri-County Regional Black Chamber of Commerce hosts the Business Choice Awards in Gala where we honor business owners and individuals known throughout our communities for their authenticity and passions that illuminate a path so that others may capture a vision that inspires them to accomplish their dreams. Now, we honored, I wanna say 32, um, we had 32 awardees last year. Don't know how many we're gonna have, there's no cap, no limit, but uh, I, I'm just foreseeing we're going to have a lot more people hitting the ground running and who are going to be recognized this year. So now that we've entered into this new year, uh -huh. there's a chance for everyone else to win the lottery. <laughs> no, just, um, that's definitely not a reason for you to do business and do it well uh -huh. and be motivated. However, I think it's great to know, and I heard this from um, honorees for the Business Choice Awards, is that someone's watching even yes. when... You don't give yourself a pass on that. Someone's always watching. So keep working hard, keep working hard, keep working hard. So to give you all an idea of how honorees are selected, um, there's one particular category um, called the rising stars. Now there are regional rising stars and there are international rising stars. And again, there's no limit to however many mm -hmm. rising stars there are. Uh, but these individuals are members who joined and and started off with a bang i mean they they were involved in lots of chamber events they attended as many chamber functions as possible to learn how to improve or do business mm -hmm. i mean they, they they were really a sponge and so that just gives you an idea of what a rising star is and there's several people who are going to hit the ground running so i'm glad that there's room yes. in that category alone um for for more um awardees or recipients so that's that. I'm going to have some announcements for you all. But without further ado, I want to allow these wonderful members that I have on here to just give a brief. Um, um, well, I'll go one by one. Okay. So I'm going to start with you, Miss Vanessa. This I knew you were going to pick on me. I knew it. I already it's knew cute. you were going to pick on me. <laughs> Whatever. You good been waiting morning. so long for your cue. You can't. Whatever. I didn't good. want you to wait any longer for your kids. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. I am Vanessa Hodges. I am the owner of Hodges Brokerage LLC. Plus, I do dispatching with Just Like Mom is the name of that company, LLC. So um, I've been doing it since um, the, the Hodges Brokerage since 2019. I've been, no, 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 I'm sorry about that. I've been doing the dispatching side since 2019. I just started up the, the brokerage side mm -hmm. and that's the side that I'm trying to get off the ground. And it seemed like I'm hitting a dead head, you know, a dead end everywhere. I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm basically filling my weight, but I'm gonna be honest with you. 
Tri-County has really had my back. They make me feel comfortable. I'm glad that we have these things like this in, in different other meetings because it give you more knowledge, even though when you're ready, I think I'm a little bit more knowledgeable about, about what's out there. You know what I'm saying? Or how to go about it. But I'm scared, but that's that's part of hey, you know. Don't be scared. That, that, yeah. I'm, I'm actually glad that you, you mentioned being frightened, scared, yeah. like your vulnerability here because- mm -hmm. It comes with really the territory. Yeah. Yes, it comes with the territory, but that's literally what the chamber is here for, to help you, yeah, to support know. you. And it's a it's a private members club. So there's there's a uh, an alliance for logistics yes. and trucking. Yes. So, I mean, yes. there's several resources right here. So don't be scared. Mm. The only Thank way you, I like think you would fail is just not tapping into the resources and you know, Ooh. becoming more knowledgeable. And you said that you're right. learning and you know the chamber yes. has your back. Yes. So yes. that that's and I will be at the next gala. Okay. So that's right. <laughs> All right. You don't want to miss right. it, okay? No, <laughs> I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Awesome, awesome. So um, how long were you doing um dispatch? Dispatching I started in 2019. Okay? okay. And I usually do them. I, I'm so used to getting loads off the load board and taking sending them all over the United States. I okay. mean, we, okay. I just had a guy. Um, what's this month? What month is it? January last month that I sent to Alaska. He had to oh, go wow. to Alaska. Yeah. So they go all over the place. Now I'm trying to just stay focused on getting into local stuff. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Okay. So okay. it's kind of hard, especially when you're so used to, okay, I'm sending you over here. I'm sending you over there and I'm sending, mm -hmm. and these guys want to do it because they want to make money. Mm -hmm. But if there's money in it for them to stay here at home, yeah. Then stay mm -hmm. at home. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Stay at home. <laughs> so that's where I'm at with everything. So thank you, ladies, for listening to me. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe those people just want to get away from their wives and children. Well, I, I didn't say that. You said that. <laughs> I didn't say that. So did you prior to this have a background in logistics or how did you get into it? I got into it because after after doing dispatch for so long and seeing or messing with the brokers. Cause I do, I have to mess with the broker right. side. You understand what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. so after me messing with the broker and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why don't I kill two birds with one stone? Why am I just, why am I doing this? It didn't make any more sense to me. So I've been trying to break out on the other side and I've been having my license now for two years and I still hadn't done anything yet. So it's just kind of hard. But like my husband said, you just have to keep at it like I did with my dispatching and it'll take off. So that's of why I'm still here. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. And I hope that I, I, I look forward to you singing a different little tune next time. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to having that yeah. smile that you got on your face. <laughs> next time you see me, I'm going to be like a Kool-Aid lady. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to be ready for Freddie. <laughs> so, I heard yeah. that. So that's uh, Miss Benedja. Vanessa Hodges with yes, Hod Hodges Brokerage. Is that yes. correct? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, and will you give us some contact information just in case yes. someone's listening and they reach out on their own to you? Okay. Um, My contact is 832-935-7424. 832-935-7424. My email address is vhodges 62 jlm at gmail.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. So either way, or they can just go to my website and it'll, you know, sign up and they'll get to me. My website is hodgesbrokerage.com, period. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, sweetheart. All right. We're going to move on up. Uh, down. Which <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> All right. Oh, Lord. And, uh, <laughs> I, I do want to say, uh, Kosha, I'm going to start with you, but okay. I, I if if I mispronounce your name, your lovely assistant corrected me yesterday, but it's not my fault. My <laughs> is terrible at names, so yeah, I, I say whatever she says sometimes, and I should do better. That's okay. It's definitely kosher. I got oh. it. I got a little hyphen here to remind me, you know, like phonetic <laughs> form, because I, one thing that about people, your name is your name. Right. Like that, right. That is your name. Yeah. So I don't like messing it up. And I don't okay. like messing up. You see my stuff at the gate. Oh, I messed up some names. I didn't see it. It's not in the book, though. The book's solid. <laughs> so anyhow, so Kosha, please introduce yourself. 
Okay, guys. So, of course, Happy New Year to everybody again. Um, my name is Kosha Joseph. I am a licensed professional counselor. I am the owner of Safe Place Counseling and Consulting here in Houston, Texas. Um, we are an outpatient behavior health agency. Um, we focus on uh, behaviors for children ages three all the way up until adults. Um, the key thing about my agency is that we bring the therapy to you. So we have workers that actually go out into the community and see the clients where they are. So they see them at the home, at the school, Starbucks, you know, wherever that is. So um, we have two locations right now, one in the Southwest side, one in Katy. Um, we just opened another location in Dallas as well as San Antonio. Wow. So we are growing. Um, and I'm excited about bridging the gap in mental health. Um, I'm licensed in four states, so um, I see safe place going many places, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, I've only been in Houston five years. Um, I'm from Louisiana originally. Okay. Um, and Houston has been good to me. I, I, I love it here. Um, of course, I love what I do. I've been in the mental health field for over 13 years. Wow. Um, it's a passion of mine. So. I'm looking forward to continuously bridging that gap there. Hmm. Thank you, thank you. Now, when you said um, from you you um, deal with children from age three to adult, do you mean eighteen or no? Me, big adult, me, big adults, big yes. adults. Okay, cool. 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 awesome. So, so we do offer we do offer private therapy, um, private practice, one on one therapy, but we also have the skill building side where we actually go out in the community and work on like anger management skills, communication skills, different things like that. So okay. what was your, how, how successful has that been going out into the field? Like what, what differentiates that from, as far as progress goes from maybe a traditional setting? Right. So me being a licensed therapist, a traditional setting would be you schedule an appointment and you come and sit on a couch in the front of me and conduct a face-to-face uh, -face therapy session. Mm -hmm. Or you conduct that via telehealth, right? It's just mm -hmm. you and I talking um, and I'm providing that what's called psychotherapy. The other aspect of that is the skill building side is not conducted by a licensed professional. It's conducted by a qualified mental health professional. Mm -hmm. And that's just because the service that they're providing is different. So it's helpful because say, for instance, you have a family that doesn't have transportation. Mm -hmm. They can't get to the office to sit in therapy with me. Right. Mm -hmm. um, some of our workers that go in the field, our clients have their own case manager. So there's a lot more access there. If there are <coughs> issues at school, um, the parents may call and say, hey, they've had a bad day. That case manager can go right over there, right? Mm -hmm. Versus if they had to get in to see a traditional therapist like myself, they would have to call and probably set an appointment, mm -hmm. right? They don't have that access like right then and there. Mm -hmm. And then in the field, they can see them a lot more, right? Up to three times a week. Um, normally for psychotherapy, it's probably maybe like two three times a week, but um, sometimes we have to meet people where they are, right? Um, especially when you're dealing with kids, sometimes teenagers, adults, it's not comfortable sitting on a couch in front of a therapy talking about things, mm -hmm. right? So it's helpful to be able to say, okay, hey, I'm going to meet you at your home. We're going to sit on the couch and we're going to talk and we're going to, you know, do intervention. So it's a little bit more comfortable. Yeah, but when you meet them on their turf. Right. So we wanted to just make it feasible. You know, even if the parent says, hey, you know, you can take them to the Starbucks, you know, you can take them away from the setting because a lot of times when we're dealing with mental health with kids, it, it stems back from the setting, mm -hmm. right? It's a lot of things that's going on in the family dynamics mm -hmm. that we have to deal mm -hmm. with, right? So it just, it just helps us to get in and see a lot versus them mm -hmm. coming in, you mm -hmm. know? Um, so that's the good part about that aspect of it. But if we have a client that say, hey, you can benefit from skill building, but you also may need a little psychotherapy, do some to, to some trauma. They can't get both services. So it's a little bit more well-rounded. Right. I was going to say like a little bit more comprehensive treatment, not a yeah. one size fits all because that, mm -hmm. what does that even mean? <laughs> Every situation is different, right? It, it's, it's different when you can have a person to sit and say, hey, you know, I have all of these things going on within my family dynamics. And it's one thing for them to describe it to you. But when you actually go to the home and you can sit there, you can kind of see a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It gives you a different outlook on what's going on so you can better help the client. Hmm. Now, can I ask you, you said you were very passionate about this, where does this passion come from? 
on my mom's side um, of the family, there's a history of mental health. Okay. Um, most of my mom's sisters and brothers have some type of mental illness. Um, so I have been the helper, the go-to person in my family since I was younger, mm -hmm. right? Um, so me seeing it at a young age and being around it um, kind of fueled that for me. My, my first job ever at 23 was working for child protection with the state of Louisiana. Wow. So even working in that field, I was like, man, you know, there are some things we can do, right? There's some work to be done. Mm -hmm. And it fueled me to go and say, okay, hey, I'm gonna go get my bachelor's, right? After I get my bachelor's, I'm gonna go get my master's. I don't wanna stop here. I wanna really get my license to where I can do more. Um, it wasn't my ideal to, to, to be a business owner. You know, I was kind of content doing my regular therapy. Um, and it's just, you know, me being pushed to say, okay, hey, you can do this on your own. And I, I can honestly say I opened my business during COVID 2020. And that was during a time where mental health issues were on a rise Ooh. and exposed the business just took off. And we've been so successful since because you look at even outside of COVID, I always tell people sometimes, like, if you can give me somebody that's saying that they're not dealing with anything in life, no type of anxiety, depression, I need to talk to them because outside of regular things going on in your life, the way of the world today is going to cause something. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just something that's needed and it's prevalent, right? So me having that family background, um, that's where that passion stemmed from, right? Helping family members and being that go-to person, um, it fueled me to be able to want to provide that for other people. Awesome. That's awesome. Hey. So I kind of felt like it was a calling. I was like, well, you know, are you sure you want me to do this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't hear you. Hear you. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> Nobody else. <Yeah. laughs> you know, yeah. you, you know, sometimes it's just, you know, basking in that and being obedient. And, and you know, mm -hmm. I feel confident in being great at what I do, but I also love it. You know, yeah, it's like it's hard to deny the calling, especially when you're good at it. Yeah. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a talent. Yeah. That's a talent. And you had lots of practice, apparently. So right. Um, and it was my it was goal to like say the okay. passion that you have behind it. Right. Yeah. And it was my goal to say, OK, hey, eventually I didn't want to be in private practice anymore. I didn't want to see clients face to face. I wanted to own my own business and run it. And I can honestly say after being in business two years, I'm able to say, OK, I'm there. Right. Run it. Awesome. Okay. Right. Yes. Yes. So I have old clients that I still see, um, mm -hmm. but I'm not full fledged in private practice. I'm building this company and 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 I'm I'm taking it to places that as many places as I can to be able to help with this mental health crisis that we have. That's awesome. And I'm I'm just still. It, it's not new anymore. I mean, since you know the pandemic, you know, mental health was just. But I'm just still amazed at how we were brought up as as a culture and how willing people are to seek help. Like you are opening multiple businesses. Like mm -hmm. ah, yes. that's awesome. That that yeah. And it's still that stigma. It's still that stigma. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, you know, I know my my traditional um, standpoint on it is like, okay, let's not look at it as mental health. Right. Because sometimes when you say mental health, it kind of triggers people it's to, scary. you know, they're like, oh, no, I don't have nothing mental. Health. <laughs> right. you know, but, you know, anxiety is real. You know, mm -hmm. you look at sadness and depression is I mean, it's real. You mm -hmm. know, when you're living life, you're going to experience that at one day in time. And I always tell people, you look at your mental health like your physical health. When you go to the doctor, mm -hmm. make sure you have a therapist or a life coach or accountability partner on your team to where you can go to invent. I'm a therapist. I have a therapist. Right. Because I have to take on a lot. Yes. Yes. I don't have that person to uh -huh. to and talk uh -huh. about. Right. Uh -huh. So it's normal to have. It doesn't say that it's right. something wrong all the time. Right. It's just uh -huh. like, OK, how do I finagle this and, and, and see through life, you know, in certain situations? And it's OK to have that guidance mm -hmm. in order to thrive, mm -hmm. in order to yeah. thrive. So I just try to tell people like, hey, it's OK. Like. You know, it's not a bad thing because like you said, you know, growing up, we didn't talk about this. Mm -mm. That's so true.
if you talk about the depressed, like what? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what do you mean? You know, I would have some clients like, now. Me there's too. like, you know, we have a teenager that's depressed, and it was like, oh, she don't have nothing to be depressed about. I'm like, uh, listen, yes, some, she of does. These, yes. some of these teenagers and kids go through much yes, more than adults. I mean, hormones alone, self-esteem, wanting to be accepted. Yes, I see it all the time. So when we go out and we work with children. Nine times out of 10, we're working with the families, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So it's 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 just a good thing to be able to do that. But I just want, my goal is to just, you know, have people to not be ashamed or afraid of the word mental health because it's a way of life and it's a part of us at some point. But I mean, the key word there is health. Though. So who doesn't want yes. it healthy? <laughs> you got to take care of yourself all health. the way around, right? Yes, you know, yes. because life doesn't come with a handbook. No, it doesn't. There's no specific way to do anything. There's no specific way to handle anything, right? Mm-hmm. So I always preach a lot of times with my with my clients, like you know, we can't stress over the things that we can't control. Mm-hmm. So. So would you tell me about some of the other programs that you have? Well, we have the skill building and the um, case management, which is called a targeted case management program. It's Medicaid driven. Um, That's where they actually go out in the community. Okay, we do have the individual therapy where they can see a licensed therapy for a little bit more trauma psychotherapy. Um, We do anger management. Right. Um, For children, um, teens, adolescents, adults, even in the courts, um, we have anger management groups, individualized anger management programs. And we actually just started our children and pregnant women program as well. Wow. Um, And that's for any type of pregnant woman that is having um, some type of difficulty with pregnancy um, that qualifies for that program. And so we also provide that intervention. Okay, like like gender disappointment types. Those. Yeah, high risk pregnancies and things like that. So it's a different type of case management because when you look okay, at case okay. management, it's really connecting to resources, right? So they may need housing, they may need different things like that. So it's like a resource connection program. Got you, got you, got you, yes. got you. I understand, I understand. Well, that's that's awesome. awesome. I am. Uh, I'm wondering because you're awesome. you're expanding so fast, like. Yeah. Is everyone knocking on your door to, to work with you? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm knocking. I'm knocking. I got, I got a couple of, uh, no, serious. I mm-hmm. have two kids. Well, they're not kids. They're grown. My brother, which is 46, 46 years old, um, that was autistic. He's autistic and yes. mental health. Okay. Then I have my bad 18 year old right here <laughs> that is with mental health and autism. So mm-hmm. I understand exactly what you're talking about as far as these therapies and all these different, you know. Different, yeah. Different. Nobody's, not one is the same. I have mm-hmm. ran across that. Not one is the same. They can drive you cuckoo for cocoa puffs. I can understand that. So I understand <laughs> you having a therapist too because I think I need one because I'm dealing with them every day, all day long. Sometimes I want to run away from home. You know, and, and, and you don't know how to. That's just like if a parent has a child that has a lot of behaviors, like they don't know how to deal with that. No, no, like, no. How, like how do we? <laughs> what book can I buy a book? Can like, how do we deal book? with that? So, yes. the parent, the parent always needs support as well because, yes. again, mm-hmm. there's no handbook to parenting. No, you have to deal with things after as no. they come up. So, if you no. have a child that's presenting with a lot of behaviors or things that you're not used to, you may not know how to deal with those things. So, you mm-hmm. may need support. And mm-hmm. assistance and saying, okay, how can I handle this better? Mm-hmm. When they're having tantrums, right? Mm-hmm. How do I handle this better? You know, so it's it, it's well-rounded as well because it is a lot when you are um, dealing with someone. Mm-hmm. Same as if you're dealing with someone who has a substance abuse issue. Yeah, I believe that. Right? Mm-hmm. We, we have to have certain tools to be able to, to deal with it. And not every tool works for the same person. That's true. Right, right, right. Well, I want your information at the end of this. Yes, okay. ma'am. Thank you. Yes. Look at it. Um, Kosha, was there anything else you wanted to add? I think that's it. Yes. Well, I think that's it. I, oh, I'm also, also too, okay. um, I did want to just say this. I am in the process of starting my uh, stationary line um, 
Of course, you know, mental health is, is my thing. So um, coming up in March, I will be releasing my first healing journal along with my first deck of healing affirmation cards. And I want to be able to focus on those individuals that have traumas and bondages that they need to heal from and don't know how to do it. Right. So um, I have that coming up and I also have a conference that I'll be um, doing in March as well to to just get some women in there and set them free. Yeah. Okay. Well, you have to remind us about this uh, journal and those Afro yes. positive yeah. affirmation cards. That positive affirmations are that powerful, just right. so powerful. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm excited to uh, yes. see your new projects and where, where you. else you go. Awesome. So last, but definitely not least. I mean, look at her. <laughs> not least. How you doing, Miss Angela? Hello. Hello, everyone. Glad to be morning with you all. Yes, yes, yes. So introduce yourself. Well, I'm Angela Hayes, sitting here absorbing everything with uh, <laughs> Kosha and but Miss Vanessa, just such a wealth of information. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Angela Hayes. So I'm here from uh, my company. The name of my business is Unique Foundations Enterprise. I am uh, I am located in Angleton, uh, Texas. Uh, I am a uh, notary signing agent as mm -hmm. well as a notary. Uh, mobile notary, and mm -hmm. I also conduct remote signings as well. So uh, if you're out of state, out of town, out of the country, and need some sort of documents notarized uh, that are state's documents, uh, that can be done online. And also, I'm a, a licensed insurance, a life and health insurance agent for the state of Texas. Mm -hmm. And so oh, wow. I do uh, sit with families and, you know, uh, my specialty. So there's so many different types of insurances, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so we insure so everything else. We insure our phones, our vehicles, <laughs> our homes. Uh, but the, the greatest and the most valuable commodity is us. Mm -hmm. And so um, my uh, target, our target in our business, I'm with Senior Life uh, Insurance Company, and we target for final expense planning. And so for those that are need to plan for their final expenses. So mm -hmm. we are here, you know, to sit with you and to uh, work with you and your budget and uh, see what you qualify for. So, you know, there's so many factors uh, when you talk about life okay. insurance, there's different so, factors uh, such as your yeah. age and your health and medications. But uh, we are underwriters in the field uh, with our software so we can uh, actually tell you on 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 spot what you qualify for to do the application process and get you uh, set up. So uh, that is one of my things that I love to do because I love to educate individuals in those areas because I've seen so many different uh, scenarios play out, including, mm -hmm. you know, in my family in the past. And so one key thing is very important is what we, we've heard it, uh, get your house in order. Mm -hmm. So um, mm -hmm. we need to get our houses and that mm -hmm. includes, that's a financial part of our home. And so we want to um, get ourselves off our mind and be concerned about our family members, mm -hmm. because if something happens to us, uh, think about who's going to be the one that's responsible right. uh, mm -hmm. when you're gone. And mm -hmm. if you love your family or, uh, or whoever that you choose, you know, to be uh, the the person that oversees your estate or what have you, you if you really love them, you want to leave them in a position, you know, uh, a, a position that they're, they, they're already burdened and emotional traumatized you know, with your loss, right? So you don't want them to have that financial burden. And so, absolutely, absolutely. So uh, that is the reason why, you know, I really am um, passionate about uh, helping individuals to uh, do that, put a play, put a plan in, in order. So, I mean, having something is better than not having anything. Right. Right. Amen. And so, Amen. um 
I mean, you can go to any funeral home and they'll tell you, you know, I wish, you know, if you had five thousand dollars in the in the services is ten, mm -hmm. you know, at least five thousand uh, a lot. Mm -hmm. So um, my encouragement and one of my uh, uh, I guess my ampl applications to people is uh, GoFundMe is not the way. <laughs> it's uh, not. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> once that, you know, individual. Oh, has, my God. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you have thousands of dollars that you're looking at uh that is due more than likely by the end of that week and yes. we know yes. what happens if we don't have it by the end of the mm -hmm. week that mm -hmm. uh that service is postponed and so mm -hmm. even with that being said a lot of people are going uh with cremation not because they 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 desire to but i do have mm -hmm. a lot of clients that want cremation now too but in most cases it's because they yeah, have, they have it because yeah. it's a cheaper route but keep in mind and cremations have gone up as well they have, yeah. uh, and um, <laughs> yeah so we're talking about covid and all of that uh that has happened so a lot of people were forced to do uh cremation so that's uh part of what i do <laughs> as a life insurance agent haven't really uh tapped into the health side yet uh but it, that is something i believe that uh the father is really putting on my heart mm -hmm. uh to pursue that side of insurance mm -hmm. as well so as a notary signing agent i do uh help real uh facilitate the real uh real estate closes so I sit at the table when individuals are closing out, if they're purchasing property, mm -hmm. um, they can be new, they can be selling, uh, they can be simply refinancing. Uh, it's just so many different aspects of, of mortgage and real estate. Mm -hmm. So I am the individual, I am the person that sits at the table with the family or that individual and close out their paperwork. Uh, as a notary signing agent. And so, you know, I'm always looking uh, to foster and partner with lenders, title companies, um, real estate brokers, agents, mm -hmm. and and the like. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just into building. I believe that relationships is key to all of our businesses. Yes. Because... Um, a chamber member. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's just so good to know, you know, what you know, what we what we do and what we're here for. And uh, oh my goodness, um, that's I want to say, say one thing though about health insurance that you mm -hmm. mentioned, mm -hmm. or about life insurance, having insurance. You can insure everything. There was a time where yes. we couldn't even insure our phones, but we've always been able to insure right. ourselves. But mm -hmm. for some reason, we have this invincibility thing about us. Thing. <laughs> oh my God. My God. God. That, that is so crazy. That is so. My husband always talks about it. He was like, he does not play when it comes to insurance. Like, it's like insurance yeah. on your cars and your phones. Mm -hmm. It's right. almost like even with my phone or my car, like, I don't feel covered. Mm -hmm. I don't have it. Right. So you have to kind of look at it that same way. Right. That's true. I've had a lot of deaths in my family and I've seen mm -hmm. a lot of fights. I've seen mm -hmm. a lot of arguing. Right. I've seen a lot of people fall short when it comes to finances. Mm -hmm. yes. and me being able to see that firsthand, mm -hmm. that caused me to run to an mm -hmm. attorney and do my right. estate planning. Mm -hmm. Right. My stuff is so lined out, it ain't gonna be a, a doubt in their mind what I won't want right. to do right. what, because I don't want to put that burden on my family. Absolutely. And I feel like if people would take it a little bit more serious, mm -hmm. yes. It'll it'll pre it'll prepare people a little bit better when it comes to that. It's like oh, okay, I'm gonna do without my life insurance, or I'm gonna do without my health mm -hmm. insurance, or I'm gonna do without my car insurance. Insurance mm -hmm. keeps you covered, it you know, because every way. Funerals are not cheap. They no. are not. <laughs> no. And they're chain and they're going up. So I mean Listen, they yeah. have a general price list just like any other business. So any other business, I yeah. mean, you know, if a uh, cost of living has gone up, you know, merchandise goes up. And that's uh what mm -hmm. we do too with senior life. We help the family uh save 30 to 80 percent on the merchandise. And I mean, when we talk about merchandise, we're talking about uh the caskets. Uh oh, wow. And I'm talking about, you know, anywhere from one to 200 caskets you can select, I mean, for one price. And you can lock it in that day that you uh, get Ooh. the life insurance. I'm talking about urns. I'm talking about memorials or monuments mm -hmm. and yeah. vaults. So those are your big biggest ticket items when it comes to uh funeral services but then you factor in 
uh, all the other stuff, opening and closing of graves. You have flowers. You have uh, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. media. You have mm -hmm. uh, photography. So those things you want your family member uh, to have cash in hand. And so with senior life, what happens? They they pay out in less than tw in twenty four to forty eight hours uh, mm -hmm. because they understand that that family member. This is a final expense policy. Keep in mind they understand that that family has expenses uh, that's incurring during the time uh, all the way up until that funeral and after. So mm -hmm. that family member, that beneficiary, they need some cash in hand to take care of some of those expenses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yes. But I believe, um, Quincy, that a lot of times we put more value, like you said, things that are in business you know we think okay nothing's gonna happen but we we tend to put more value and that's where i come in at i want to educate um yeah. more of our communities our people on the value of you yeah. you know the value that's of you right. yeah. insurance is it's better to have it and not need it than Ooh, need yes it. Not, and not have it I don't know about y'all, you ladies, but <laughs> I, I remember when I was really young, back in the day, I think I let an insurance lapse on my car and had an accident. Oh, no. Never Not again. again. <laughs> Not again. Not again. Never again. Not again. Yeah. I understand. Yes. yes. So, yes. Okay. So, That's nice. Um, I, I know you're a published author, but I want to ask you about that kind of last okay. kind of reason why. Yes. Um, But you um you sent me some information a uh, flyer on the 2024 powerful journey women's conference yes. that's held at a forum but also that the, um broadcast virtually yes yes absolutely and that's tied into uh the published author piece as well uh oh, because man. it is a actually the conference and you tell me if you want me to keep going keep with on. it okay so the conference is being held it's a, a women's conference it's mm -hmm. being held in mckinney texas Okay. Uh, and I am one of the speakers because I am one of the authors. So uh, all of the authors will be there presenting uh, their uh, books. So is that what this, this oh, wow. conference is for authors? Yes. And authors? yes. Oh, so we've been on a journey. Good. We've been on a journey for a year. And mm -hmm. so we've been writing our books. I became a published author last year in an anthology uh, called, yeah, this year, well, Telling Our Stories, Volume 2. So I wrote a chapter in the anthology with a group of uh, eight other ladies. Mm -hmm. And I'm in Chapter 2. My, uh, the name of my chapter is Pushed Into Purpose. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, with us sitting here talking about business, I, my background is in courts, municipal courts. I was court administration, so I oversee the op overseeing the operations mm -hmm. of the court. And so that's kind of how I became a notary and all of that because mm -hmm. I, I worked in local government for 24 years. Mm -hmm. And so um, I just, you know, didn't realize it was other pieces to being a notary. So I began to do that research probably mm -hmm. about two and a half years before I actually came out of a local government. So I was actually forced out of local government. I was pushed out, but that's why my chapter is called Pushed Into Purpose because now I understand and I realize that, you know, God had a plan all the time. Mm -hmm. And so I was there for a, a reason, a season, and a purpose. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, Kosha, you talked about anger management. I wish I had known you mm -hmm. when I was. Um, the uh, administrator some of the courts because that's what we did. We fostered those relationships and sent our um, defendants that were court ordered to take, you know, the anger, anger management, management and mm -hmm. things like that. But I mean, it's good to know this information because I can always refer her services to because yes. I still have contacts and connections there uh, mm -hmm. with different courts and people in the courts. See, this is why you got to listen to everybody. Mm -hmm. You're missing something. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so, yes. So, the conference is going to be in person, but it's also going to be, uh, you can get a virtual ticket. Uh, so, it's uh, you can see, see it online, or you can uh, come to McKinney, and I'll be one of the speakers. And I've been asked to actually conduct the workshop uh, based on my message of my book. So, I will give you the title of my book. Mm -hmm. So my book is called More Than Meets the Eye. 
more than more than meets the eye. Yes. yes. So uh, we'll be uh, doing book signings there. Uh, at the conference and uh, it, it's a great networking event also and uh, I, uh, if you're looking or thinking about writing a book a journal <laughs> after all of that and you want it published I definitely uh, recommend Phyllis Jenkins with the Powerful Journey uh, organization there she's in Plano uh, but our conference is right there in McKinney right next door so okay Yes, so we're looking forward to it. Uh, it's not. It's 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 a big thing uh, when we have it. So it's just a great networking event, and we also will have men, uh, men uh, co uh, workshops there as well. Oh, nice. nice yeah. Nice. So it says women, but there's going to be uh, some segments and things like that for the men as well. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm I'm gonna go a little bit out of order on my announcements. Oh, you good. Support this here, you're good. but. Um, Black History Month is coming up, obviously, mm -hmm. and um, we're making it special by hosting a 2024 Black History Month program series. So we'll be honoring the OGs, of course, but mm -hmm. this year we're going to focus on, you know, some some um, people who are impacting today's society. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things that, you know, we, we kind of brainstormed about was like, do you know any black authors? We're like, well, yeah, we know Angela. Well, does she know any? And so I'm, I'm saying all that to say uh, we want to honor some people in our community. We want some feedback from everyone. Okay. If you know any um, black patent holders or black inventors or any other black trailblazers, some something, yeah. uh, they don't necessarily have to be local, okay. obviously. Uh, but yes, we do. We do want everyone's opinion on that. Send us your ideas. Send us people who deserve praise that we don't know about yet mm -hmm. or, or the ones we forgot about, too. Okay. You know? So awesome. um, yes. we will be looking for your help. So if you have any special offerings or presentations that you'd like to promote, mm -hmm. please contact us at black underscore history at tcbcc.org. That's black underscore history at tcbcc.org. So you got work to do. You got to find us. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, <laughs> they're right at my disposal. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, but they're not limited. You're just in the book world. You're not obviously limited to authors. Um, right. It could be publishers. I mean, you, you just okay. mentioned this lady, uh, you, Phyllis. Yes. Yes. So, I mean, yes. anyone who's trailblazing, um, if, if they are making history, okay. please reach it out to us. Definitely. Um, and I'm also both author and publisher, too. Awesome. Oh, <laughs> but we don't, I don't know if we need any more, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Congratulations. You ladies. I mean, y'all are doing so much. And y'all are still going higher. I feel like you, you need like a, a new badge every year. <laughs> <laughs> Our goal is to uh, complete the assignments. You know, the work That's that he right. has given us to do That's while we're right. here. So, That's uh, right. And it's all about reaching, uh, transforming, uh, and and just inspiring and helping individuals, you know, on exactly. their life journey, you know, because we freely we have received, so freely we are to give, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So uh, what he has placed in us, what God has placed in us, we have the responsibility to distribute it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, we, I'm, I'm, I'll be talking a little more about that uh, in my book. I like your, uh, your chamber plug here. We are committed to acquiring and disseminating <laughs> valuable business information, there resources, and tools. Yes, go. for the chamber plug. Yes, 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 yes. So you all definitely understand the assignment. Mm -hmm. I want to give one last announcement before we get out of here. And I'm also going to give you all, you ladies, um, you know, a chance to speak or, you know, whatever mm -hmm. it is you may want to add here. Uh, but our first big event for this year is on January 11th. Uh, January 11th is our first regional opportunity forum and meet and greet uh, networking event with Lone Star College. Jan January 11th, 2024 is a day committed in achieving a successful and profitable business enterprise. Mm -hmm. So um, lifetime members will receive plaques. There are going to be awards given. There's going to be mm -hmm. food. Uh, so make sure you, you look into that. Um, it'll be partnered with Lone Star uh, you must register. I'm not sure when the registration, it says registration ends just on the day of the event until 2 p.m. So okay. you have enough time mm -hmm. to make a decision. Um, other than that,
please join the chamber if you have a friend who may be struggling, needs some guidance, maybe hit a brick wall, needs to get over that hump, mm -hmm. wants to do business and doesn't know how to do business. Yes. Um, I encourage mm -hmm. you to get them to join the chamber. Get them to join the chamber. Again, it's a private business club. You have so many resources just by yeah. being yes. in the, in the yes, fold. Yes, you here. do. Mm -hmm. And then we do fun stuff, don't we? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. We do some fun stuff. So, I mean, it's, it's a real club. I mean, mm -hmm. if we go anywhere, we have stuff to do. We're meeting people. Right. Oh, man. I love the chamber. But, you know, I'm a little biased. <laughs> But um, these ladies are here, and whether or not I'm biased, they know. You can mm -hmm. ask them if you don't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies, it's been wonderful being here with you, starting this new year off with yeah, this podcast. Um, Vanessa, did you want to add anything? Anything you? No, ma'am. I am just. I'm, I do want to get with kosher um, again regarding my situation here at home um, to work with her company, which is, I'm so glad that I sat down with you guys today. You guys are some beautiful black women and I'm so proud Thank of each and every one of you. Yes. Okay. Speaking of Kosha uh -huh. and mm -hmm. Angela, I need you all to shout out your contacts. We need to know how, uh, obviously Miss Vanessa may get on, get mm -hmm. with you one on one, but mm -hmm. uh, we want everyone to know how to get in contact with you. Okay. Um, so the company is Safe Place Counseling. Um, and consulting LLC. Our website is safeplacecounseling.org. Okay, okay. Yes. Our office number is 832-831-6178. Um, me personally, my social media is Kosha Joseph LPC. Um, and my Instagram handle is she counsels. She counsels. Mm -hmm. So awesome. thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And did you have anything you wanted to add, Kosha? Um just to kind of piggyback off Miss Vanessa, like it, it was great to be able to sit down with you ladies this morning, just to, even just to learn. I love learning about who people are and what they do. Yeah. Um, and Miss Vanessa, for you, I know you talked about um, being stuck, not knowing what to do and your fear. Uh -huh. And I just kind of wanted to encourage you like 2024 is going to be your year. Thank you. Yes. Right. So mm -hmm. if you're not afraid, huh. it's not challenging. Right. Yes. So I think yes. you've taken a great step with Thank you. making sure that your connections are solid. It's important yes. who you mm -hmm. have around you mm -hmm. to where you have people to motivate you, push mm -hmm. you and to help you. And that's not going to gatekeep. Right. Yeah. Because at some point we all needed help. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So when I do consulting, I'm like, look, I didn't have that. So mm -hmm. I want to be able to offer that to people. So I'm just excited that you're in a network mm -hmm. to where you're going to get exactly what you need this year. Thank and you. we're going to see Hodges Brokerage take off in 2024. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Yes. 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 <laughs> well said. Well said. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I can't agree more. Yes. Yeah, so my uh, contact information, uh, you can uh, go to my website at www.angelia. My name looks like, it's Angela, uh -huh. but it looks like Angelia, Angela Leah Hayes, TX Notary. Okay, TX, okay. Or Also, you can uh, call me or reach me on my business line at 979-334-2648. Or you can email us at Unique Foundations at iCloud.com. Um, my social media personally is Angela Hayes. I also have a business page for you. I Unique used to Foundation. be a Hayes. Oh, oh my. God. <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> so many connections here. Uh, <laughs> so my business page on Facebook is Unique Foundations Enterprise. And also I'm on LinkedIn as well as Instagram. So uh, thank you, ladies, so much. Uh, I just enjoyed uh, being on this podcast with you all today and uh, just celebrating your successes and your boldness and your courage uh, because, you know, it does take courage uh, and faith to step out on these businesses. And I'm inspired by you, Kosha, uh, with your business because sometimes we do, we get a little despondent, a little discouraged in mm -hmm. our businesses because we want it to woo, take off. But just know this, that, you know, in that process uh, that your character is being built and mm -hmm. you, and as long as you, you keep your hand on the plow, uh, you're going to receive, we're going to the, see the results of the work. 
And yeah. so uh, I'm encouraged today by you all and just uh, simply uh, want to connect with them as well uh, here uh, off the podcast so we can um, uh, establish that relationship and just, you know, we see what we all got in common here so we can just continue to uh, be a blessing to one another. Oh, I'm a matchmaker now. Well, oh, I have one more thing. Yeah, Can ahead. I share? I, I am I am launching. Well, I actually have launched, but I'm actually launching a full uh, notary mentorship program. Uh, so I'm launching that. I want to teach other individuals what I learned. And so I'm launching the program for those that are looking to become notaries and those that want to dive into the notary okay. signing agent, because that's a whole different space mm -hmm. and that's a whole different type of certification. And so I'm la launching that mentorship. Uh, I do uh, have the packages available and then I can share that as well. Awesome so sauce. Can, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Go Anne. <laughs> so, so you go ladies y'all are y'all are amazing it's been an absolute absolute pleasure i wish you all a happy and prosperous thank new you, thank year you. thank you if it's going bad so far you gotta you got a whole lot of time to make up for it so yeah. i'm just kidding I, I'm, I know this year is going to be beautiful yes. the weather's not starting off too great but we're gonna right. get there it's gonna be blazing in the summer in no time uh but um Thank you everyone for listening in. I'm your host, Quincy Pittman. I was joined today by Kosha Joseph, Vanessa Hodges, and Angela Hayes. And remember guys, if you wanna do business, let's talk business. Join the chamber. See us on Fridays um, over the air. This yes. podcast will be, um, sorry, it's broadcast live, but the recording will be available on YouTube, I believe on Wednesday. So if you missed anything today, if you missed it two weeks ago, if you missed two months ago, go back, back. go back, go yeah. back. And there's going to be some of them that you watch twice. Trust me. I mean, yeah. I'm here mm -hmm. and I'm like, I got to go back and watch that one twice. <laughs> like I, she gave me some good stuff, you know, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad it's all there. So you didn't miss anything. You just yes. missed it for now. Absolutely. All right. So have a wonderful weekend, ladies. Thank you. And thank you, you all too. to all our listeners. Thank you for having us. Bye. 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 Bye.